What's going on guys, Bluefoot back, and fellas, I have a great video for you today. We're going to be going over the top 5 easiest maps. Now on my channel previously, I've done best maps, worst maps, you name it. But today we're doing easiest, so how high of a round you can get to on that map and how easily you can do it. Now here's the catch. We are going to be excluding Shinonuma on World at War because there's a glitch on that map where, you know, there's a spawn limit of 24 zombies, the Wonder Waff. You can get to infinite rounds and then, you know, there's like an instant kill glitch or whatever so let's get in to the number five easiest goddamn map coming in at number five we have ascension guys now this map is fucking easy all you need for this map is the thunder gun jug quick revive you name it all you have to do is cover one perk rebuy the other one every other round when the monkeys come and you know those are kind of a pain in the ass and they're semi challenging but realistically they're not hard all you have to do is come up to one of the lunar lander stations or whatever the fuck you want to call them and just train there train there the whole game once you develop the skill of training and this is the map to do it <laughs> trust me you will get good and you will get to whatever round you want honestly Ascension is just so goddamn easy. I got to around 55 solo on this map until I ran out of ammo and killed myself. And that's when I was kind of noobish. So, I mean, it really isn't a hard map. I suggest playing Ascension if you want to get good at training, because that's definitely a good map to do it. But it just it comes in at number five, dudes. Coming in at number four, guys, we have Die Rise. Now, this map isn't a great map, but fuck, it is easy. All you have to do is make this liquefier and get your perks that's it that's it guys it is not hard die rise is a fucking easy map it is just unbelievable and the sliquifier before it was patched made it even easier all you had to do was fire one bullet and it ended the round it could kill zombies infinitely it just ended the round one bullet equaled the round and then you kept getting max ammos over and over again so it isn't a hard map especially especially when the sliquifier was not patched this map is so easy there are so many good training spots like the buddha room there's uh, some other fucking places i don't know what they're called i don't play this map a ton but it is easy all you have to do is make sure you don't fall off the edge of the fucking map and you'll be good so yeah it comes in at number four coming in at number three guys we have buried now before i start like ranting on this map for how easy it is just keep in mind i like this map this is a substantial map it's fucking fun and it's a great map so just bear that in mind but it is easy guys okay any noob can just hop onto this map and get to around 100 if they want it really just depends on how much spare time you have on your hands that determines what hive around you can get to on this map there are so many strategies you can use so let's go over some of them so one you get the paralyzer Sit on top of the bank with Vulture Aid and get to literally whatever round you want. Strategy number two, camp in the Jug location, or any location for that matter, with the Paralyzer, and you can get all the buildables like the Subsurface Resonator, the Trample Steam, the Head Chopper, and you even have the help of Leroy if you feed him candy. There are just so many goddamn things you can do to get to round infinity on this map. It isn't hard. It really isn't. This is noob heaven. They get to... They just get to sit here and use the fucking paralyzer to just do whatever they want. And when you go through the witch's hut, which you can do pretty much infinite amount of time, you get a free perk every single time you go. So you get a full set of perks, the paralyzer upgraded, and it's just too easy. It is way too easy. It is the single reason why a lot of people hate this map, because they're like, it's just too fucking easy. But I love this map. I'm not saying it's a bad map, like I already said ten times. So, yeah, Buried really is just a mind-numbingly easy map and some of you may be surprised it's at number three and not even higher but we're gonna get to that in a sec so yeah in at number two guys we have Der Eisendrack now I'm just gonna be quiet for a second and I'm gonna show this clip and you'll see why this is on this list Now, if you played Derise and Drac, you know damn well that this is an easy map, and that's a reason why a lot of people just hate on this map is because it's so easy, but I kind of like it, actually, but I got to round 72 on this map, and it's just not hard. It's really not hard. You could do this with any bow, realistically, but the lightning bow is the ideal one. You just sit there in a camping spot and just keep slowly but repetitively charging up your bow, 
letting it go, and doing that over and over again. Now, there is a little bit of a toss-up on the higher rounds when the Panzer comes, that because, you know, that's actually going to kind of stress you out a bit. You actually got to kill that thing, or it will kill you. But after that, it really just is no challenge. You even get the Ragnaroks, which help you out a lot, and you can get Gobblegums like Alchemical Antithesis and Cashback to help you out with your ammunition problem, which will inevitably occur. So, I'm going to slow the fuck down here. Drak is an easy easy map you just saw that clip and it kind of spoke for itself so yeah that comes in at number two and coming in at the number one single easiest map in call of duty zombies franchise history guys it's revelations now this is the most recent and final map in our storyline and i gotta say it didn't meet its expectations i'm not going to talk about the map itself and how like it was disappointing but it's easy it's an easy map all you have to do is get the Thunder Gun and or the fucking Apothecan Servant. Little Arnie's will help out a lot to get you out of situations, and Ragnaroks are always nice to have. So, that being said, all you need are those things, and you can get all of the perks. You get Perkaholic, and you can even get a free perk on the map. There's just a lot of things you can do to basically get to infinite rounds. Like I said with Buried, it literally just depends on how much spare time you have. That is what determines how high of a round you can get to on this map. You don't have to be extraordinarily good. You just have to find a decent training spot, get one of the good wonder weapons. That's pretty much it. Plus, the shield in itself is also really handy, and you can get that infinitely as well. So, essentially, what I'm trying to say is Revelations, it's a pretty decent map, I think. I think a lot of people dislike it. I think a lot of people love it. It's very controversial. And honestly, it's just an easy map. It may sound kind of weird, but Black Ops 3 in itself is just kind of easy. I mean, with all the gobble gums and the double pack a punch and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's just, it's way too fucking easy, guys. Revelations is the easiest map in Call of Duty history. I have friends that don't even play zombies really a lot, and they get to around over 100 just by, you know, playing for five hours. So, I mean, yeah. <laughs> That's going to conclude the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel because I'll be making a lot more of these if I get a positive response. And if you're watching this the day that it releases, I'm going to be live streaming in a few hours, so make sure to check that out. Don't miss that. I'm going to be live streaming a lot more, like I said in my last video. So yeah, and I'm still trying to figure out the live streaming shit a little bit. So hopefully you guys have a good rest of your day and I'm going to go eat. Cause I'm fucking starving. Alright, see ya folks.